Hi everyone, it's Lily Bell from Melbourne, Australia. I hope you are all well. It's been a little while since I've um, posted a video. In fact, uh, since I've actually been on video on my channel, on this channel, it was New Year's Eve. And in fact, that was the last time I saw my husband. I was going to see him on my birthday that has just been. Um, my birthday is the 26th of February, uh, which is a Wednesday, and he was going to come up on the Saturday. But I um, had to go to see my doctor and doing so um, due to the fact that I've got a very low immune system. Even though I wore my mask, I got a very bad cold. Um, so, and because my husband's immune um it has an immune uh, issue as well and is a transplant patient, uh, yeah, um, there's no way that he could come up. And uh, and in fact, I didn't even, I've, I've been so out of it um, even before my cold. I had cold with uh, a lot of things going on with my health. Um, to be honest with you, I just said to my parents, I don't even want to think about my birthday um, and my mum and Dad were going away the next day anyway, and I said, just postpone it. Um, it's not, not as if I can do really much anyway. So, yeah, so I didn't really have a birthday, and uh, that's, what, two years in a row? So next year I, I better have a birthday. <laughs> Birthdays are important to me. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if I sound a little bit different, that's just because I'm just done to get over a cold. And so um, the past four months have been extremely hard for me. A lot of you know about my jaw. Um, at the moment, it's the same, um, but I haven't spoken literally for about seven days. Um, literally, I haven't seen anyone. I haven't seen my um, my workout that comes because I've just I'm not sleeping at night due to my cold so I'm sleeping during the day and I'm just missing everyone and my parents are away so um, that's I thought I would take the time now and do this and update you guys um, so my jaw is still the same it's extremely painful um, I've had my treatment um, that I've been allowed under the under their whatever scheme it is um, my five free visits um, and to be honest with you um, it was getting worse uh, past four months and I haven't really actually told anyone about this is um, I'm having uh, a lot of uh, a lot of how do I say this um, I basically um, cannot move my left arm um, besides my wrist and even then sometimes um, I can't do that. I um, had a massive fall about four years ago around February. Um, I know it was just before my birthday and um, I hurt my bicep um, and it's been niggly off and on since. So it's kind of what happens with me. Um, part of the fibromyalgia and you know just how my um, my body reacts to uh, stress and trauma uh, but about four months ago um, I was just putting my hair up and my left arm just it was I just ended up screaming the house down and crying and and it was like <coughs> excuse me my arm had literally been ripped out I can't explain it. And ever since, um, probably three to four times a day, um, just a small little movement or gesture or even just laying in my bed, um, uh, it will go into a massive spasm and I end up, I start screaming. And for me to acknowledge pain that way is something I usually do not do. 
I'm always in pain and I'm always in a lot of chronic pain, despite the fact that I'm on medication. And in fact, a lot of the time, I don't think the medication's working for me. So I try and go off it and then I'm like, oh, hell no, give me that medication back because it actually is working for me. Um, it's just I'm always in pain, even on my medication. So now I've had, now I've got this jaw issue, which I've not had any relief from, um, which is stopping me from communicating, stopping stopping me from um, from chewing, for for really doing much of anything. Um, plus, it's 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 exhausting, um, having pain that nothing touches. And now my arm. Now my arm is to the point now that it's my entire arm. Uh, I have had uh, x-rays. I've had a CAT scan. I've even had a Dobler. Um, I was in the ER, um, et cetera, and nothing has shown up. And I have gone to a pain specialist. Uh, it didn't go so well. He was a pig. Um, and... Yeah, so there's a lot going on there and I haven't said anything because, you know, I I get on YouTube, um, especially the past few months, to try and escape um, my pain and how I'm feeling and it's really, really hard because I've got nothing and nothing's touching it and um, it's done it. It's, it, it's, it has gotten me down quite a bit and I'm not one to get down. In fact, a lot of people, if I didn't say I was sick, most people wouldn't know I was sick um, because I'm usually a very happy person. But when you're in so much pain and it's it's pain that nothing touches um, and it stops you from doing the most basic of things and the things I'm able to do are so basic anyway that this is this affects me even more. So, uh, for instance, I can't even put deodorant on my left arm. I can't put my bra on, anything like that, because I don't have movement of my arm. Um, it's extreme, excru- excruciating pain, and it literally, I'm screaming, I'm crying, I can't catch my breath, um, and unfortunately. Um, not this last time, but the time before I went down to see my doctor and to talk about this pain because I'd been mentioning it to the guy that was doing my jaw and my GP, but, but, you know, you can't see pain. And I don't think they were taking me seriously, to be honest with you. And even though it was a bad thing to happen, right towards the end of my um, double appointment with my GP, um, I, I just did a slight movement and I went through the roof and I screamed the entire medical practice down. I was crying. It was so embarrassing. And it happened a further four times. And it got so bad that the ambulance had to be called and I was rushed off to emergency. Now, emergency I stress about because they do not... I am mostly bed bound and sitting up um, on the best days of mine is a struggle. So on my worst days, I can I can't. But yet they will take me in by ambulance. And because I this time it was um, usually it's they don't treat you as a whole person. Like it's on my notes that I'm mostly bed bound and I'm extremely ill, but they still make me sit up in the waiting room for hours on end and I'm literally, I can't sit up and I'm basically, um, you know, I start throwing up and it, it's no good. And so I go, I kind of go into a bit of a panic. My doctor did ring ahead when he rang for the ambulance and spoke to um, the emergency and said that I would be coming in and that I'm chronically ill and told them about me and obviously they've got me on file because I've been there numerous times and um, that I'm in a lot of pain and I'm unable to sit up. Yeah, that didn't help. (laughs) Um, uh, My dad was with me and he couldn't sit in the the plastic chair for more than two minutes and, yeah, so that was a bit rough. 
Um, so, and it was a waste of time because um, all I wanted was, I mean, the whole idea was I'll go there, get some pain relief, and then I will try and get in to see a pain specialist ASAP. Well, the pain specialist I wanted to see, I couldn't see until the end of June, which was not going to be any good. So I had to see a different pain specialist and it was going to be another two days. Um, at the hospital, they didn't, they gave me the wrong medication and I didn't get any relief at all. So it was a waste of my energy spent everything. It was a shit show, basically. It was, I was very angry. My parents were very frustrated. Um, and, yeah, and to this day, and that was back at the start of January, uh, right, and it's the 3rd of March now, I don't have any pain relief. I'm not as bad at the moment, but I could suddenly just move a certain way and I'll be screaming and, and I, I literally cannot breathe. Um, I've got like six different pains in this arm. Um, like I've got the nerve pain and I've got muscle spas, spasms, et cetera, et cetera. And we don't really know what's going on. Um, the pain specialist, uh, yeah, we're not going to be going through him. Even my doctor was not impressed by him. Um, typical, um, one of those old fashioned specialists that, um, just stick to their, you know, what they've been taught and don't go outside the box kind of thing. And he would ask me questions that I'd go to answer and he wouldn't let me finish and he would smirk and he even laughed at me. And my mum wasn't impressed with him at all. So I, um, when I've come on, a lot of people have said, oh, how are you going, Lily Bell? And I've been saying, oh, yeah, I'm hanging in there. And that's what I've been saying. But to be honest with you, a lot of the times when I've come in, I've literally been screaming and crying and sweating. Um, that's one thing is with this pain, I it's like if I get any kind of sleep, I will have go into a sleep and then – due to the pain and my body going into shock because of my pain. Um, it's like I've been um, doused in water and my poor parents, I've been having to change my bed sheets um, and it's it's just gross. You wake up and it's just sweat. Um, it's not just a little bit of sweat. I'm dripping. My hair's dripping where I'm got sweat dripping down me and that's through the pain and also my body in shock. And I'm now on the public waiting list um, and it could be another few months and I've got no relief. But when I was at my doctor's, when um, just before I went to emergency, the ambulance actually was called to the, um, the medical practice, which was highly embarrassing as well. Um, my mum had my mobile phone and she must have pressed record and actually the entire doctor's visit, which I will not be putting on because it's personal, um, right up until when I got to the hospital was recorded about three hours worth. Um, but you can hear me um, literally screaming. And my, bearing in mind, my mum's got my phone. I'm at the very back of the practice and it's a huge practice. My mum's at the desk and you can hear me crying and it's it's quite, it's hard for me to hear, but this is what I've been going through. And, yeah, so... I warn you guys, um, it could be a little bit upsetting. You won't see anything. It's just um, sound. Again, I'm only going to play a little bit of it um, because it goes on for three hours. Um, and there's some personal information in there as well, which I don't want to dox myself. I'm not doing this to gain attention. I'm not doing this for any other reason other than to let you know how I am really going and to just let you guys know. Um, I'm very blessed that I've got great parents and I will get through it. And But this is why we need to keep reminding ourselves to try and be kind to people on the internet, even those that drive us insane and, and we, you know, because we never know what's going on in another person's life. And so here is the recording back at the start of January when 
I had just been, uh, just was finishing up my appointment. We we're discussing uh, seeing um, a pain specialist, and I hurt my arm, and it's gone downhill from there. <laughs> still laughing guys I still got a smile on my face there have been times when I haven't but I still appreciate things and yeah god bless you all and remember to love and respect yourselves and others and if you're having a bad day remember there is always tomorrow and I have been telling myself that over and over take care guys love you lots from the live
What about by all means? Yeah, you bloody need a block. Come on, we need to pay the service. You need to go to a pay specialist, unfortunately. Are you, com are you comfortable enough? Yeah. Would you like the pain relief? Yes. Or did it make you feel too yuck? Um, you you I, don't I, need I'm to... I'm gonna, I'll have it on me. Sorry, I'm going to put it.